The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 13 and 14, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on May 14, 1976, in Honolulu, Hawaii. Well, how to become advanced? These are the prescribed methods. Tapasā. Tapasā, tapo means voluntarily taking some discernment. This is tapo. Tapo means describe if there is fire, uh, so if there is heat, but the method of tapasā is that during summer season uh, they uh, ignite some firewood all round and sit down. Already there is scorching heat, and still all round fire and one has to sit. These are the, some of the examples of tapasā. Similarly, in the winter season, it is very cold, one has to go down the water up to the neck. This is the meaning of Prabhupada. Voluntarily accepting some severe condition of life. In this age, it is very difficult. But this is the meaning of Prabhupada. Voluntarily accepting inconvenience. When there is Cold, one has to uh, take the help of heater, fire. No, no heater, no fire, but go deep into the cold water. Of course, it is very difficult in your country uh, because the water is so cold, and if you go deep, immediately finish. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen in New York <laughs> one dog. He jumped over immediately finished. I've seen it. That is actually happened. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so kind and that these people in this age they will not be able to undergo severe austerity. That is not possible. Mandas manda matriyu manda bhādhyā upadhyutra. In this age, every man <coughs> is alpāyus. Eh? Alpāyus means very short day. The limit is hundred years, but who is going to live hundred years? Nobody is. Eh? If one is eighty, seventy years, it is considered. Within sixty, seventy years, everyone finished. Uh, but <coughs> the age limit is hundred years. So what tapasya he'll do? What meditation he'll do? Uh, in the Sattva Yuga, by meditation, one could get perfection. Just like Balmiki Muni, he uh, meditated for sixty thousand years. Uh, because in those days a man used to live for one hundred thousand years. Gradually it is reducing. Uh, in the Sattva Yuga, man and woman used to live, human being, up to one hundred thousand years. Then next Yuga, it was ten thousands of years, reduced by ten times. And then next year, uh, next mm, millennium, it is one thousand of years. And now in the Kaliju, it is one hundred So it is very difficult to perform tapasā. But the recommendation is there. Tapasā brahmacantya uh, so, uh, Brahmacharya, Tapasya begins Brahmacharya, celibacy. Uh, 
no sex life. That is the beginning of tapasya. Uh, meditation means tapasya. Uh, but tapasya brahma chantena samena somehow to control the senses to keep in equilibrium. Senses may not be agitated. Samena. Even it is agitated by my knowledge, I have to cut down. Just like if I become agitated by seeing a beautiful girl or for a man a beautiful boy, that is natural. Jubhati Nāna Jathā Jūna Jūna Jathū Young boy, young girl, they are naturally attracted. There is nothing surprising. Uh, but tapasya means that I have taken vow, no illicit sex. That is knowledge. Why, even if I am attracted, I shall not do this. This is tapasya. Uh, because I am now attracted, now we shall enjoy. That is not tapasya. Tapasya means even one is attracted. He should not act. That is tapasya. That may be some difficulty to control, but that should be practiced. It can be practiced. It is not very difficult, but one has to practice the determination. Now I have taken vow before deity because at the time of initiation it is promised before the deity, before the fire, and before the spiritual master, before the Vaishnava, that I will not have illicit sex. That is promised. How can I break it? This is God. I have taken vow before the deity, before fire, before my spiritual master, before the Vaishnava, no illicit sex, no eating, no drinking or intoxication, no gambling. I have promised it. If I am gentle man, how can I break my promise? This is called gear. With knowledge, one has to destroy. That is called thought. No, otherwise to become attracted, that is not unnatural. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to say, he was sunlighty. He said that even if I see a doll made of wood, a beautiful woman, my mind becomes irritated. So what to speak of us? Huh? And this is the example. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu doing himself. So to be agitated in the mind, that is not unnatural. But if you practice, then you will not be agitated anymore. If you practice by your knowledge, then you will not be agitated. That is called dhira. Dhira tattana mayyati. You have to become dhir. Dhira and avira. There are two classes of men. One is sober. Even there is cause of agitation. Still he remains foul. He is called dhira. And dhira means as soon as there is cause of agitation, he becomes victim. That is called dhira. So we have to become dhira. We had been a dhira in so many different forms of life, because I am coming to this human form of life after evolution of eight million forms of body. Jalajana, Vulakkhani, Sahara, Kalimsari, there is evolution. So after Bhusam Bhavanti, after many, many years, I have got this opportunity in other lower animal life, I have enjoyed the senses in so many ways. Uh, 
The sense enjoyment is not very difficult. It is there. Vishaya Khuru Sarvakasya. The hogs and pigs, they have got facility for sense enjoyment. They do not care even who is you. Even he sees mother or sees sister or sees daughter, they will enjoy it. That is hog life. You have seen. There is no discrimination. Uh, the monkeys, uh, they are uh, enjoying sense life. Uh, so everyone enjoys sense life. Uh, so why I have got uh, this uh, valuable life, human form of life? Why does it become a, a, a living entity like hogs and dogs? This is not dogs. Why I shall become hogs and dogs and again I shall put myself in the cycle of birth and death? I have got this life after so many evolutionary process. Why not practice little tabusha in this life? This is knowledge. If by practicing little tapasya, restraint, I can get relief from this reputation of birth and death, eh? why should I not do it? This is knowledge. Uh, and if I again become victimized, eh? the laws of nature is there. If you want, you can enjoy. Uh, I, Nature will give you all right. You want so much sex, all right? Come on, become a hog. Yes. <laughs> the nature is ready. It is not very difficult. Uh, therefore, the Shastra says, no, no, no. This life is not for becoming a hog and dog. Nāyama deva deva bhājāṁ ni loke kāṣṭāna kāmāṁ arhati vīrujāṁ. The whole world is working so hard. Uh, they are going to the office, they are going to the working hours to add livelihood. But what is the pleasure? The pleasure is sex. Uh, the ultimate goal is sex. Janamai dhunādi dhihamedi sukham mitucham. So, uh, one should consider there is sex indulgence is given to the hogs and dogs, and for the same enjoyment I have to work so hard. This is knowledge. The same enjoyment. I have got this human form of life for understanding Krishna, for understanding God, my position, what I am. I am not this body. I am spirit soul. I have been put into this body, and because I have been put into this body, the body is material. It must finish. It must be finished. Anything. Uh, it has got six changes. Anything material. It has got birth. It has got uh, growth. It has got uh, upper effect. Then dwindles. And uh, then finished. Uh, everything. Anything you take, you may think this is called sarovita, six kind of changes. So I am eternal. Nāhannate hannamāne sarire. I do not die. And after this, body is finished. And again I will have to. Tathāre hantara prāpti. So this is knowledge. One has to always think of this. That is called tapasya. So, if little, kandrayanena karayu riva dukkha dukkham. This is Shastra. Yeah, what is this sex life? That is said. Kandrayanena karayu riva dukkha dukkham. Janamai thunadi grahamedi sukham mitucham. Grahamedi. Grahamedi means one who does not know what is the aim of life. Grihamedian Grihastha. Grihastha means although he is living with wife and children, but he knows what is the aim of life. That is the Grihastha Asram. 
as the sannyasi knows what is the aim of life. Similarly, a grihastha also may know. Uh, so such grihastha, uh, such life is allowed. Who knows the aim of life? Uh, and one who does not know the aim of life simply enjoys sex. He is called grihamedi. These two are there. Uh, in Sanskrit literature, every word has a particular meaning, particular thought. It is therefore it's called Sanskrit. Most performed and purified literature. Sanskrit. Sanskrit means purified. Sanskar. Uh, just like we offer Sanskar at the time of initial purification. Uh, so our main problem is the sex life. That is, because sex life is the basic principle of material life. Either you are a human being, or you are a demigod, or you are a bird, you are a beast, you are a fly, you are a fish, you are a tree, plants, everything. Uh, the basic principle of material life is sex. Uh, Everything is there. We have to we have got books to study and follow the practice. Uh, be little sober than him. Uh, there is not that in that level. He will be able. And Krishna will help. As soon as we are very eager, then Krishna will help. These are uh, so therefore the deity worship is there. Along with deity worship, we should always pray. Krishna kindly send me from the pitfalls of Maya. He'll do it. Uh, but if we want to cheat Krishna and cheat Guru, then he will be cheated. That's all. The Guru will not be cheated, neither Krishna will be cheated. He will be cheated. If you want to be cheated, then do whatever you like uh, and prolong your this time of reputation of birth and death. And if you want to stop it, then here the tamasam, brahma chajjina, samena cha, dhamena cha. Tagena. This is also one of the tapas. Uh, don't keep with you anything. Uh, even then you will make plan. Uh, let me have illicit sex. Let me have uh, intoxication. As soon as you have got money. The best thing is, as soon as you get money, immediately you spend it for Krishna. <coughs> Say again. Uh, charity. Charity. Tagena means charity. Uh, not that you starve. No. That kind of plan is You keep yourself fit to execute Krishna consciousness, but don't give much money. <coughs> Immediately give a charity to Krishna. Krishna can take your charity uh, as much as you can give. That uh, is Bali, Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj, he secured the whole three worlds. Uh, he has become the master of the three worlds. When it's upper planetary system, down planetary system, middle planet. So, and, but he was a devotee also. Therefore, Krishna came to me as Bhavana. Chadaya si vikramane bali madhumata bhavana. Padanakha nira janita jana bhavana. Kesa badhita bhavana sarira. Jaya jagadish. So, because he was very proud of his position. So Bhavan then came to Bali Maharaj. Maharaj, you are Kshatriya, you are very charitable, I have heard. He who can give me little land. Uh, yeah, Bali Maharaj was very much pleased. Yes, I will give you. How much land do you want? Three feet. 
Three bit? What is your account to me? <laughs> yes, that. Yes. So, all right, I am giving three feet. So, by one feet he covered the whole sky. And the other feet he covered the whole down. Planet. So, Muni Maharaj understood the hot kind of beggar is. <laughs> yes. So Bhavan Dev said, My dear Bali Maharaj, you promised three feet, uh, but by two feet you have finished all your permission. So what about the other feet? So Bali Maharaj, he was a devotee. He said, My Lord, don't be worried. Still, there is, it is my head, bless Lord, other feet on my head. The Bhagavan, they said, now you have purchased me by your charity. I shall remain your doorkeeper. So, if you make charity to Krishna, you can purchase Krishna. Yes, although Krishna is all powerful proprietor, you can purchase Krishna. To do that. If you have got any money, spend for Krishna. Thank you very much.